Hey, welcome back everyone. In this video, I will show you 20 tips guaranteed to improve your Unreal Engine 5 skills, ranging from pretty basic things that everyone should know to fairly obscure things that not a lot of people know. So in no particular order, let's start with number one. Use the tab key to slow down time so you can debug things happening in your game in slow motion. To do this, simply search for tab debug and on pressed, set the global time dilation to something like 0.2 and on released, set it back to one. When pulling a variable from the left side panel, you can hold alt while pulling it to quickly set the variable or hold control while pulling it to quickly get the variable as opposed to just dragging it normally and being asked, do you want to get or set? If I want to do a mathematical operation like two plus two times four divided by six, this is how I do it. But an easier way is to right click and search for add math expression. And here I can just write it like this, two plus two multiplied by four divided by six. And if you open this up, you'll see that it did the same exact thing and gave you a nice output pin. Now you can even add variables here. So let's say I'm going to replace this four with just something like X. And then it's going to ask you to plug in the value of X, or you can even take it a step further. And let's say you already have a variable. I can just write the name of the variable here, like health, which is a variable I already have. Now, if I open it up, I see that it automatically uses the variable named health. You probably knew that you can select nodes and press Q to align them horizontally. But did you know that you can also press Alt Shift S to align them vertically? You can temporarily change the pivot point of an actor in your level by pressing Alt and middle mouse button where you want the new pivot point to be. This is especially useful if I want to, for example, change the height of this wall. And as soon as I'm done, the pivot point goes back to the original. And note, if the pivot point is in center and I'm changing the height, then it changes it from both the top and the bottom. So this is very useful when you want to make quick changes only on one side of a mesh. When you select an actor in your level, either by clicking on it in the level or the outliner on the right, then press F. This will quickly snap the actor at the center of your screen. Then by clicking uh, left mouse button and alt, you can rotate around that actor to quickly examine it from all sides. To quickly copy and paste things, you can simply select them and press control D to quickly duplicate instead of control C and control V to copy and paste. Instead of looking for a file in your content browser, you can simply press control P anywhere and roughly type the name of your file, and it will automatically search all your folders for it. In any of your blueprints, when you want to see where a file or a function name is referenced, you can press Control F and search for that function or variable name, and it will show you where it exists in this file. But if you want to search all of your files, simply click on this icon, find in all blueprints, and it will show you where all the other files are referencing such a variable or function. When you have a particularly complicated part of your blueprint that's cluttering up your event graph, you can simply right click and say collapse nodes. This will automatically create a subgraph for you with all of these nodes inside to keep your main event graph nice and clean. You may have known that you can go somewhere in your level and press control and one or any other number to bookmark this location in the scene. That way, when you go away and you want to come back to that exact location, you just press one or that number that you chose. But did you know that you can also do the same in your blueprints? So for example, I can select this comment and bookmark it with control one. Then if I am anywhere else in my blueprint, I press shift one in this case and I automatically come back to this bookmarked location. The format text node is a very useful function for combining strings and variables. 
So for example, if I want to print the value of my health variable, I can just open up curly brackets and write a name of a variable. Then automatically it will ask me to input the value for it. And you can do this with as many variables as you want. So I can do max health equal open curly brackets and put the value or the name of a variable. And then I can print these on begin play. And you'll see in the top left, the, var the values printed. You can very easily copy and paste values from a details panel like this by pressing shift and right click to copy, then go to another object and shift and click to paste. We often wanna make sure a variable is valid before using it. So we do something like this and only on is valid do we continue. But an easier way to do it is to just right click on that variable and convert to validated get. That way, getting the variable itself gives you an is valid and not valid output pins, as well as the value of that variable. When inside of a function, you can simply drag from an output pin on the return node to automatically return that value. And also you can drag pins on the function name to automatically add inputs to that function. If you're always looking for a particular folder many times, you can make it stand out by right-clicking on it and saying set color and changing its color to something that will stand out. Or you can also right-click on it and say add to favorites. This way the folder will be added to a favorites tab in your content browser to be able to find it easily. When you're in a file that's a child class of another parent class, you can easily find that parent class by going on the top right here and clicking on the search icon to open it in the content browser or the edit icon to automatically open that file to edit. If you have multiple static meshes in your level and you want to convert them into one mesh, you can simply select them both. Go on actor in the top menu bar and say convert actors to static mesh and save it. That way you have one static mesh that contains both of these actors. You can easily measure distances in your level by going to any of the orthographic views. I'm gonna to go to top view and then dragging the middle mouse button will pull out the ruler, allowing you to accurately measure distances between any two actors or between anything in your level. If at any point you want to see what exactly is being rendered in this frame, you can write the console command freeze rendering, which will pause rendering at this exact frame. So now you can look around and see everything that isn't rendered because it was called out or for any other reason. Make sure to type freeze rendering again to unfreeze the rendering. And that was 20 tips for Unreal Engine. If you found this video useful, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. And let, let me know in the comments if you have your own Unreal Engine tips that you would like to share, uh, or if you want me to make another video like this. I'm very curious to hear from all of you. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.